PGK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? In the top 10, but let's face it, I think they're a little bit too far behind the leaders. However, a stumble from the leaders and a good final push from this player, got to say, it's possible. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. Well, that's a handy shot. Around 110 yards to go. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Just a four-footer remaining. And that will drop in for a birdie. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Yep, he's putting Rosie's nosy out of joint with that one. That was an incredible approach. Here's Justin Rose. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Wow, that almost went in the hole. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Let's try and make this one. And only drop the one shot. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. John Rahm, your leader, as we head to the next hole. We've arrived at a par five. Coming off of a bogey. Looking for a birdie. Oh, well done. The great Severano Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game, and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. Well played, mate. 
from about 100 yards. Just three strokes back. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's some good golf right there. A chance for a booty if this goes down. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And that will take him to seven under. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Only two shots off the pace. Going with the pitching wedge here. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Judging it beautifully. And that puddle drop. Well done. We've arrived at a par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Sitting at minus seven. Currently tied for seventh position. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to eight under. He finds himself in a share of fourth. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. That's a pretty handy shot. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Oh, that was such a good stroke. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And I like it two in a row. And on the leaderboard, they currently sit second behind the talented Tony Finau. This hole is a par five. And this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right hand side. And if you hit it right of those trees come into play. Bail out to the left, give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Golf became a power game, and there's few players out on tour that have more prodigious power than Tony Finau. If he really wants to go full tilt, Rich, it feels like everyone's playing for second. He is a dynamic player that has the ability to make birdies in bunches. The ball striking, I think, is always going to be brilliant. Watching him when he was on the Corn Ferry Tour, graduated to the PGA Tour, and just keep watching the steady progression. Each and every week, he just seems to get a little bit better. And the confidence level is over the moon with this kid. And to bundle it all up, Luke, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. You want to root for a Tony Fino. He is such a likable, lovable guy i believe that you can't help but root for him and the wins that he didn't get are just heartbreaking and we felt the pain alongside with him i love watching this guy play i root for him every single week awesome stuff second shot here on the 10th hole
Oh, I love that. Had the confidence to stand up there and try and drive the green and delivered. Definitely brave on that one, setting up a nice eagle opportunity, especially since they're one back of the lead. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for eagle. Ooh. Terrific shot, almost an eagle. Heading to the next hole, and this player is currently in a share of the lead with Tony Finau. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. And he's down there. He's got uh, about 140, I'd say. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And down she goes, the long range bomb. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. Currently 12 under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. And he's safely on the green. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And here we are with the third shot. Currently in the lead by a shot. Great touch. Really nicely played. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the five iron. A 
Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. Starting to look really good. Well played. What an eagle. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Feeling good about their game right now, Luke, coming off an eagle at the last. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Three feet to go here to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Yeah, this is some high quality golf. Down the putt goes and it's 15 under par heading down the stretch. And just with the slimmest of leads out there, Luke, this will be interesting to see how they handle the pressure. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. That was a great shot at the right time. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Well, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? <laughs> Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 17th. How close was that to going down? Nice recovery there. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Oh, what a wonderful play, leading with intent. Put every ounce they had into that drive. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Going with the seven. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's exhibit A. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. I don't mind the look of this. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt coming up for his par. That was an impressive round. The player got themselves into a position of tied for first, but now they've got that nervous weight in the clubhouse, Rich. 
There's nothing worse as well. They've done what they can today. We'll have to wait and see how this all shakes out. And Henny, it goes without saying that this player dominated their rival today. Yes, Luke, no one could catch this player, let alone their rival. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.